This is how to sew a back stitch when you cannot access the rear of the fabric that you are sewing in. Uh, just like uh, every time I, I sew, I have the uh, line threaded through the needle with the one end open without a knot so it can be pulled through. I'm using 10 pound braided fishing line to sew this regular denim patch onto the outside of this sleeping bag. And of course I can't access the inside of the sleeping bag without taking it apart. So you use this curved needle that you can see here. And this actually makes it very easy to get through to the other side. Uh, you can use this technique to sew uh, a holster into a car seat, for example. Uh, is a good reason and then this is a perfect example. In my opinion it makes it a little easier to sew uh, decently straight lines if you're in a hurry and it's a little faster. So as you can see here I've already got the needle stitched through and I just wanted to show you a through a few uh, stitches so you can get the idea of how a basic back stitch is formed. You just pull tight and you go back in to the fabric at your last entry point. So you're going to go through each hole twice and then you thread the needle the same distance forward of your last exit point. And then, you know, poke through until you think you've got a decently straight line. Sometimes it's uh, easy depending on how much you care about how it looks or if you're sewing on the back side of something to mark with a marker where you'd like to be and then it's very easy to make straight lines with the thread. Stick it in there. And while I'm doing this, this is one of those iron-on patches that you use for jeans where you turn on your iron to medium heat, take a rag and get it damp and put it over the top and on your ironing board you just iron this patch right on and then it's got a sticky substance that melts, uh, basically a glue and then just glues the patch on. I did that but I wanted to, but mostly just to hold it in place, I wanted it to be more secure and that's why I'm doing the back stitch which is a very strong sewing technique because it won't pull out if it snags and that's why I've chosen to do it on this here on this sleeping bag but in this situation the glue is basically just holding the patch in place this is something that you can do while you watch TV Something that you don't really have to pay attention to. The TV, not the sewing. And there you go. It's a few stitches there, and then when you just get to the end, uh, go through the same hole and do the stitch in the same spot a couple of times. And then I like to go under the stitch, but over the fabric, and then just uh, tie a couple of regular square knots in a row, and then and then uh, cut the thread. Thanks for watching.